By now, you've likely seen the flurry of ads targeting veterans and their families who served at Camp Lejeune in North Carolina. Thousands of lawsuits are expected to be f filed decades after toxic water poisoned families there. Today, I spoke with a Mobile woman who believes that exposure caused her cancer. I was shocked. In, fact, in 2015, was Sherry Weatherford received a surprising and unsettling diagnosis stage two lung cancer. In fact, I was the least likely candidate for lung cancer, no history, uh, family history, never smoked, never worked in an environment where there was secondhand smoke. So yes, it, I was startled by that. A surgeon successfully removed the tumor and part of her right lung. Weatherford now believes the cancer was caused from exposure to the contaminated water at Camp Lejeune, where her husband was stationed in the late 70s and early 80s. From 1953 to 1987, there were contaminants dumped into the water supply uh, and in the groundwater supply at Camp Lejeune. And these were things that caused cancer, uh, caused birth defects, uh, miscarriages, stillborn babies, Parkinson's disease, some very, very nasty chemicals. Mobile attorney Ed Rowan, a Marine who also served at Camp Lejeune, represents Weatherford and others in our area who believe they were exposed. If you or a loved one lived or worked... He says what's spurring all the out-of-town ads you're seeing is the Camp Lejeune Justice Act of 2022 that gives veterans and their spouses a legal path to pursue. This is a pretty unique act. Um, you know, most of the time you don't really have a statute that lays out what you can do, but this, this statute will allow you first to make a claim. They're saying it's about, uh, could be a million people, could be more than that. For Weatherford, she hopes speaking out will prompt military families to question what may really be the root cause of their illness. Stop and think, you know, for military families, there may be future medical benefits um, that come out of that. The Honoring Our Pact Act that would extend health care benefits for veterans exposed to toxic chemicals at home and abroad has been blocked by the Senate for now. The Camp Lejeune Justice Act of 2022 is part of that bill.